Izana, King of Aksu. Izana was born in the civilization of Adulis, which is now located in present-day northern Ethiopia, or Aksu. At the time of his birth, Aksu was being ruled by Izana's father, Eya Amida. During his reign, Eya had captured a boy named Frumentius from a group of Syrians, and instead of putting the young boy to death, he took him into the household. As Izana grew older, Frumentius began to tutor him, educating him of the Bible and the teachings of Jesus Christ. Sooner than later, Izana grew up, and after his father died, he became king. He began to expand the Aksum Empire, capturing the Arabian Peninsula and Kush. His empire grew, and in a primary source, Izana explains just how he managed to do so. I carried war against them when they had rebelled. I burnt their towns of stone and their towns of straw. At the same time, my men plundered their grain, their bronze, their iron, and their copper, destroyed the idols in their homes, their stocks of corn and of cotton, and they threw themselves into the river. Therefore, Aksu now included Arabs and Kushites, and the trade flourished. The port location of Aksu was ideal, and many respected civilizations began to trade with the Aksumites. Some areas included Egypt, Arabia, Greece, Rome, Persia, India, and even Byzantium. At the time, Aksumites believed in one god, Maharem, and they were convinced that their king had been directly descended through him. They were animists who worshipped the spirits of nature and honored their dead ancestors. As trade increased, merchants not only spread goods, but also spread culture and religion. Many merchants spread the word of Christianity, the Bible, and the teachings of Jesus Christ. The powerful religion spread through the Roman Empire and then eventually made its way into Africa. With the teachings of Frumentius fresh in his head, Izana made Christianity the kingdom's official religion, and with the start of a new chapter, Izana said, I will rule the people with righteousness and justice, and will not oppress them, and may they preserve this throne which I have set up for the Lord of Heaven. As a Christian ruler, Izana constructed the building of many steles, or howels, in the present-day language of Amharic. The steles were dedicated to the Christian God and was decorated with crosses. The steles also acted as royal burial chambers. The establishment of Christianity is by far the longest-lasting achievement of the Aksumites and Izana. To this day, Ethiopia is one of the most religious countries in the world, with 62.8% of the population being Christian. With that being said, Many other religious landmarks have been built, adding on to Ethiopia's beautiful, rich, and religious history, which all started with Izana, King of Aksum.